So this is everything you're gonna need for your runny rig. So let's go through them from the top. Um, lighter for shrinking the shrink tube, which is this, and we'll cut that to our desired length. A hook bead, a micro ring swivel, a hook, um, preferably in a curved shank, shank pattern, maybe even a crank. I've used cranks before. Um, I'll flip between whatever I've got. Um, I don't really mind. Um, and then a quick change swivel, or you can actually buy the Ronnie swivels, um, which a number of um, manufacturers provide now, and a choice of uh, hook link material. So it's completely up to you what hook link material you want to get or use. Um, what I would say is just be mindful of the type of bottom that you're going to be fishing on. So if there's a particular lake in mind that you fish regularly, like a syndicate or a day ticket water that's local to you. If it is a bit choddy, there's bits of weed, silkweed and stuff like that, um, go for something a bit more supple, a soft coated braid. Um, anyone that's fishing a firmer bottom lake um, and they can get away with fishing something like, you know, a semi-stiff uh, like this or even, you know, a chod filament or anything like that uh, to really kick the rig away. Um, then yeah, do that. But for me, I like to sit in the middle with the semi-stiff um, and that sort of covers all bases for the sort of waters that I fish. That is my choice of hook link material. So let's get to tying it. Right, so first things first, take your hook and we're going to put the swivel on. So you might choose a micro swivel with a um screw on it or a bait spike or something like that now if you find the barb if you have got a barbed hook is in the way if you turn the swivel round so they point downwards like that you get the teardrop shape that way and you can actually pass the barb through the tear bit um so if you have a look, that's what I'm see where it joins and he makes that the bottom of the tear. So if you turn that round, you can pass the barb through that way. So you got your ring swivel well, your micro swivel on now, whether like I say, whether that's got a bait spike on or a screw. Uh, I just prefer these. I just think it gives me a little bit more flexibility with bait choice. And that's that, and then all we gotta do is push on a rig bead then. Um, I say a rig bead, it's a hook bead. So what you wanna do is fat end first, because that is what's going to be stopping. And then normally they come with a little hole already in them. So feel around with the point of that hook, um, not too much so we don't dink the hook, and then just push it in, and then using your nail, carefully holding the hook nice and firm. Just use your fingers your nail to really push that up you're just see passing the barb now there you go and once that's on that'll slide round i don't believe there's any need for saliva and spitting all over it and stuff like that so it should just slide on nice and snug and that is really firm i'm giving that a good pull and that doesn't want to move um the more you move it back and forth it will stretch and it will get a bit looser if that's something you want but you don't need to so that is pretty much that done now so all we've got to do is attach this to that and put some uh, shrink tube on now what i would say before you do the shrink tube because you want to keep the movement in this swivel and this uh this end of the the rig so sort of line up your shrink tube like this so you've got the base of the shrink tube which will sort of wrap around this you want it to cover the eye um the sort of hook that sticks out here so so it just covers where my thumb's covering on there and it just puts out a little bit of shaft of that swivel so you want all that covered and uh just past the eye we'll do that so if you sort of level it up like that and then take your scissors sort of mark it 
uh, visually where you want that to go and cut and that's just sprung off there we go and that's there next get all this out of the way you're just going to push your shrink tube up over there that's looking nice and neat now because these aren't the official Ronnie swivels they do make it a bit easier if you do get the Ronnie swivels to start with um, what you have to do with these quick change ones is just open them up with your scissors just open up that then get your hook so it's not going to come back off because you can see how stiff that is getting on there now what I would suggest is buying the actual Ronnie swivels because um, it does make the job a lot easier than that but the Ronnie swivels basically haven't got this kink in they're just a straight one but like I said this is I've just got loads of them in my tackle box so it's what I'm using up at the moment so that is that and then get your shrink tube and pull that down and like I said you just want it covering the end of that hook that we've just passed the eye of the hook onto so there we go and that pretty much is the Ronnie rig done once we've shrunk that down um, you can tie well, as many of these as you want oh, that's what I tend to do um, and I'll leave them all in my and then get your lighter shrink that down now you don't obviously need your kettle or anything like that because there's no there's no line to melt or anything like that so what you can do is tie as many of them up as you want and leave them in your rig wallet or whatever you you keep your rigs in um, and then it's up to you how long you want to tie the boom or what you want to tie the boom with um, but for just illustration purposes and that sort of stuff we'll quickly tie one up I like to put a loop so it sit in a loop now depending on what material you've got you could get away with crimping but I would never advise crimping a coated material unless it's specifically designed for crimping um, but this stuff isn't and it is not very good with crimps um, so we'll quickly tie up the loop so easiest way to do it pass it through so you like your um ronnie rigs just on there now what we're going to do is just tie overhand knot and what i like to do is pass the tag end and everything through this way rather than trying to pass the hook link and everything like that through I just find passing it through like that and then what we'll do before we tighten it down is just tease that knot it's the sort of the length we want our loop how we feel we want it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller if you want um, it's all down to personal preference but for me with a bit of putty around that for me that'll be perfect so you've got a little bit of movement this end, take your tag end off and now what you can do if you want to be extra tarty um, and I do do it, depends how bothered I can be Take a little bit of shrink tube and because we've got obviously this tag end here that's sticking out take some more shrink tube as little or as much as you want and just put it over that knot and now I'll take that and steam that down over the kettle in the kitchen 
So there we go, that's it with the added bit of shrink tube just over the loop knot. Um, and as you can see, that looks a lot neater. And I also find, because it's a little bit wider and it adds a bit more girth to your knot and um, sort of hook link material, if you do come to put any putty over it or even a shot or anything like that, it just protects the line, just that little bit better, um, adding that and stops any more snags you know um and stuff like that catching any debris on the bottom because you haven't got that little bit of tag sticking out so that is your ronnie rig so let's put a bait on it and i'll show you exactly how i do it there we go got a pop-up uh whatever size whatever 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 flavor blah 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 all this and that um it is completely down to you and we're going to get some bait floss. This is why I use the uh, ring swivel because I like to use a bait floss and it gives me um, a varied approach. Then I can put pretty much whatever I want on as uh, long as I can get my bait needle through it. Um, but then I have got a little nut drill as well. So once that's there like that, we've passed it through. I'm just going to go. Straight through your chosen hook bait. Latch it on like that, and then push it through. Now the beauty of using your bait floss, so if I wanted that to sit a bit further, I can pull it up or down the um the bait floss to give me more separation, less separation. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to go flush to the micro swivel that is on the hook shank. And sometimes just pull it in ever so slightly. And then next, what we're going to do, people use bait stops. You really don't need to. Just get your lighter, melt that down, and then use the side of the lighter, squish it. And that is not coming off. And then just tidy up your strings this end. Snip, snip. So there you go, that is a Ronnie rig. I believe it's possibly one of the simplest rigs out there. Um, don't forget to straighten by steaming your hook link. Um, what I tend to do is tie up a load of these at home. Um, you know, get a couple of packs of hooks, a couple of packs of, you know, everything that I need and just tie them all up until all my hooks are gone. Um, and then I've got them forever. Uh, and then steam them all down in sort of job lots. Um, so, yeah, that is the Ronnie rig. Uh, don't forget, give us a like if you can. It really helps the video out um, by just pressing that thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment, feel free. Um, and we'll have a discussion in the comment section. Thank you very much.